All right, here's the new motors from Brother Hobby. These are the 1507 2800 kV, 3600 kV, and 4100 kV. So this is a new stator size from Brother Hobby. Uh, it's a step up from the 1407. So the stator diameter has been increased by one millimeter. But that's not gonna be the only difference. I'll show you later what's different uh, about this new entry from Brother Hobby. So they sent me one of each that I'll be testing pretty soon. And uh, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, uh, interesting new features. They have two different mounting options. Uh, there's a M3 and M2 threads. Uh, the M3 is going to be on 19 millimeter uh, spacing. Uh, and that's for all four and the M2 is going to be on 12 millimeter spacing so so there's two options there uh, pretty interesting options for that I guess uh, I guess if you're mounting it on the smaller uh, diameter uh, screws I guess you could always clip this off with uh, uh, you have to be careful maybe with the Dremel or a um, I would do it with a Dremel because if you use if you use a uh, any kind of uh, cutters, you might uh, you might just botch it and mess it up, you know. So, of course, with the Dremel, you're gonna wanna shield uh, the motor like so with uh, some metal plate or something, you know. So in case the Dremel slips, uh, it'll lose you. A fractions of a gram for weight so I don't know if it's worth the trouble but uh, some of you guys that like to uh, uh, get the lightest possible that's an option pretty interesting motor step up from the 1407 the one that everyone knows uh, the powerhouse 1407 from Brother Hobby I don't think they're replacing it it's just another option that Brother Hobby is uh, offering because the 1407 is such a su successful motor and it does so well on 3 and 4 inch builds so I don't think they're going to replace that anytime soon. Some other features that they, they're incorporating into this motor is the naked uh, bottom, the minimal base. Uh, that kind of saves a little bit away, but that's of course offset by the dual mount patterns. And uh, another thing that, uh, that you can notice is the one piece uh, solid shaft. I'm not sure if this is titanium or just hardened steel. I was looking for, any, for specs on the motor but I couldn't find anything on the shaft, so I'm sure Brother Hobby is gonna uh, clarify that in, in uh, you know, uh, when they uh, when they release it. And it is a sol uh, it is a, a hollow shaft, and uh, seems to be partially hollow. So it's hollow only r up to yeah up to the where it meets the bell right there is hollow there so the motor comes with a hundred and fifty five millimeters of uh, motor wire and this is 26 gauge so let's weigh it with that much wire uh, so 18 grams with 155 millimeters and if we remove uh, the excess wire and leave it at 50 millimeters then we end up with uh, let's see that's 1.1 1 .1. uh, so the motor is about it's gonna be about 16.9 grams so let's uh, let's open it up and see what other of the new features they've given this motor and there's another feature that you'll notice right away uh, for this size motor they're going with uh, a 12 pole arrangement so here we have uh, uh, 12 uh, poles uh, 12 coils on the stator and of course it's going to be 14 magnets so this is similar to the larger size motors 2204, 2207, 2206 uh, so that's interesting that they're, they're going with that configuration it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to the 1407 as far as uh, you know, maximum thrust. Of course, that uh, on, on the types of tests I do, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, quantify the response on the motor. Uh, you, you'll need uh, 
better hardware, testing hardware to, to find that out. So it's going to be interesting to see when people start using it to see if they notice any improvement in response and overall performance of the motor, you know, going from 9 poles of the 1407 to 12 poles on this motor. Even for this size, I can see the, the magnets are arc magnets, so that's that's pretty good. That you know make it, makes the motor even a better performer as you can maintain the gap an even gap from magnet to stator face right here. Alright, let's get a close-up view of the motor. Alright, here's a close-up uh, view of the motor taken apart. So, as you can see, very thin laminations. I imagine it's kind of hard to measure them, but they, they certainly look like this could be 0.15 millimeter laminations. They're very, very thin. So, let's see what the stator height is. It's supposed, it's supposed to be 7 millimeters. Let's get a more or less a measurement there. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nominal 7 millimeters there, so nominal height of 7 millimeters. And as usual, windings from Brother Hobby are always, you know, some of the best that you'll see. Very nice and neat. Looks like single strand wire there, so pretty good. That'll support pretty good load. Uh, and uh, the usual uh, bearings for this size motor and 2 millimeter shaft and the arc magnets pretty good density on the magnets and of course uh, that's supposed to be but I don't see any balancing mud but I'm sure it's balanced so uh, looks like they got this uh, motor done just right they didn't need that much balancing I guess looks pretty good and there's the shaft it's a new look for the uh, the, the bell cap it's uh, just three spokes right there minimize weight uh, so there you can see the air gap more or less don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but very close air gap. Alright, so here are the thrust test results for the Brother Hobby R3 1507-3600KV, new motor from Brother Hobby. Uh, the motor came in at uh, 3470 kV, so lower than the spec 3600KV, pretty similar to the 1407, uh, which measures lower than the 3600KV. Uh, so I went ahead and tested on 4S, the usual props, plus a couple of new ones, the Rotor X 3044T and the Razor Star 3035 Pro. So as you can see, the motor is doing pretty well on uh, thrust. I believe this is 
one of the few motors that break the 600 gram mark with a 3030 by 4 so it's doing pretty good at very manageable amps uh, keep in mind these amps are gonna be high because it's static but when you're in flight of course these are gonna be a lot lower uh, up to 35 percent lower so they're quite manageable I think so as you can see the motors pretty much easily breaking 600 grams with these three inch props uh, starting with the 3030 by 4 and of course the Lumineer 3040 by 3 and as we move on to 4 inch it's pretty some pretty good numbers pretty much 800 grams across the board and almost 900 out of the HQ4043 and the DAL T4045 by 3 which are two popular props I, th I think these two props uh, people are using them with these motors and with the 5030 prop uh, the motors breaking the one kilogram mark so so the motors uh, performing quite well I think and it, it should compare favorably with the 1407 so we'll do a side by side a quick side by side with the 1407 uh, just to compare a couple of the props uh, just to see how it compares alright so here we have the results for the 1407 that I tested a while back so it's gonna be interesting to see how both motors compare as you can see with the 3030 by 4 the 1507 has a slight advantage and it, it just continues with all the props pretty much uh, Lumineer 3040 by 3 slightly more thrust uh, at a just slightly higher amps and as we move on to the larger props the 4045 uh, still the advantage continues as you can see pretty much almost 50 grams higher and with the 5 inch prop also a little bit higher thrust so that's pretty good uh, it looks like uh, brother hobby has a pretty good motor here that's going to be released pretty soon and it's certainly a little bit more powerful than the 1407 so this is going to be a good addition to the motors uh, available motors for the 3 and 4 inch uh, for the super lights uh, so pretty good uh, performance out of this motor so it should be uh, a good option for uh, 3 inch and 4 inch builds and for those people that want to run them on 5 inch uh, for the, the super light uh, builds uh, is the sub 250 gram uh, frames uh, so okay hope you find that data useful and uh, until the next video